Okay, so before we start, I do know that the last story time video is ages ago, but I don't have an excuse, so here you have the next one. Whew. Okay, so as promised, I will be talking about my math teacher. But not just any math teacher out of the 4,000 I had. Okay, it's a bit exaggerated, but who cares? I had a lot of math teachers. This story is about the math teacher I had for most of the time I spent in the school, which was from 5th grade to 8th. I didn't get to spend the other years there, but uh, I'll move to this topic in the next video. Well, as far as I'm concerned. So, I had this math teacher in each year basically, but she fell ill or absent for many times over longer periods. One reason being her pregnancy. I'm sorry for the child who has to grow up under that devil's wings. But anyway, I've always referred to her as Mrs. Sawyer whenever I had to hide her true identity. Unbelievable that if you switch out one letter of that name, you'll have her actual name. <laughs> well, I'm not here to talk about many things that happened with her because I'll try to focus on this one thing that was requested by a special friend of mine named Karma. No, really, their nickname is Karma. Well, anyhow, let's begin. Um, wait, um, uh, Alexa? Turn on my creepy lights. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> let's start. It was a normal day at my school. We were following our usual schedule and next up was maths. Is she there yet? I asked my friend as we arrived on the third floor. People from my grade were gathered outside of the classroom, waiting for it to open. Doesn't seem like it, they replied and I sighed. Well, we'll have a few moments of peace before the monster comes then. <laughs> I laughed and they joined in. Still didn't give her your signed report card? Was the next thing Karma asked and I shook my head. It isn't even signed. <laughs> my parents don't know about it. As usual then, Karma stiffened a laugh. I nodded, but the attention my classmates paid to the front caught my attention as well. Looks like she's coming, I hissed and rolled my eyes playfully. Being in Mrs. Sawyer's class wasn't a joy at all. Especially since her and I weren't, uh, on the best terms. I never gave her what she wanted, so she was obviously a little bit insulted by that. In other words, she was being a bitch. But so was I. Okay. Might I mention we had a double period? No, wait. That's wrong. I just... Oh, okay. So, we go in and class starts the way it usually does. I sit in the back, in the middle row. Here's a little illustration to that. Okay, now you got that. We do our daily exercise that we actually only do once a week and, uh, and do some organizational things as she always calls them. It's, it's like weird. Might I mention we had a double period of maths that day. A 10 minute break between the classes. However, Miss Sawyer only gave us the first five minutes and then we continue. She usually did this so she could dismiss us five minutes early. And I don't think I had much against that idea. It was nice. So the first period passed and so did the five minute break. In that break, I just went to the restroom with Karma, then came back, uh, stood outside of the room, talked a bit, and then we got back in, as she requested it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, it ended, yes. Oops. But you have to keep in mind, every other grade still had five minutes of their break left. So, we continue our class again, and suddenly... A knock. Mrs. Sawyer instantly stops explaining and goes for the door. No one is there. So Mrs. Horry goes back to her desk and sits down as she continues to explain how to work with stems. Maybe slightly annoyed and a little bit confused. But more confused than annoyed, really. And she explained the stems. But then... Once again, there's a knock. Mrs. Sawyer rolls her eyes and groans, obviously annoyed now. However, gets up and opens the door. She sees two fifth graders running away and yells after them. 
She didn't manage to catch them, though. Would you consider stopping that? <laughs> she yells and then instantly slams the door shut and the class grows loud due to Jimmy talking. <laughs> Everyone now laughs and talks to each other, not paying attention to the pissed teacher. I myself was talking to my neighbor as she started to yell for us to calm down, slamming our class book off the table. It made an impact. And everyone went quiet. Some laughed, amused by the amount of anger that came out of this monster. She calmed down and went to the door again. This time no one knocked, but everyone was looking at her as she waited for another knock. And guess what? Indeed, there was a third knock. Listen up, you stupid children! Your mother clearly failed to- Uh, um... She stopped. It was at that moment that she saw who she was talking to. It wasn't any of the fifth graders. No, no. She just yelled at a teacher. I hope you guys liked the story of the little accident my math teacher had. It was pretty embarrassing on her part. Uh, you could literally see how she grew red. It was very funny. We all had a good laugh out of it, but uh, <laughs> everyone except her. But um, you can stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>